The good news is that the global art market is wide, globalized, it is growing, and it is stable in terms of organizational structure and therefore affordable for the investors. The bad news are that the same system is quite close, is resilient to the transformation, is dominated by few actors, strong actors, and it is centered on the Western culture. These are the main results of research that we uh, conducted upon the globalization process on the art market, looking at the top of the system, let's say, the Basel Art Fair, which is really the elite system on the art, in the art market, and understanding in which sense the globalization affected the relationship between different national platforms. We decided to concentrate our analysis on the Art Basel Fair, which was established uh, um, about 40 years ago by a group of galleries aiming to have an independent space, the leading uh, fair in the contemporary art world, and each year it involves uh, around uh, uh, 300 galleries and 2,000 artists from all over the world. It is uh, an interesting case to study because uh, each year uh, the most important galleries, uh, critics and the other operators of the field uh, take part to Art Basel and uh, to Miami Art Basel. Uh, within, within the Art Basel we have at least 30 nations which are operating. We have a um, central cluster of national platforms, which are net exporter of artists over the rest of the system. They are composed by United States, England, France, Spain, Italy and Switzerland. And then we have other clusters. The one is represented by the emerging nation, China, India, with very aggressive nationalistic policy. The other is much more open to the international activities and not nationalistic, like uh, uh, the Netherlands, for example. Then we have a fourth group of nations which are pretty much uh, intentioned to promote their artists, but their artists are practically treated by the other nations, so they, they have been, in a sense, exported before the creation of the national scene, and, and these are Poland and Russia. Uh, this overall structure is very stable, and within this stability what we see is that the globalization effect is enforcing the export and power capability of some platforms, which are the United States, England and Germany, while other platforms are reducing their capability of representing and promoting the national artists, like Italy, Spain and France. This demonstrates that the globalization process is exploited by the nations which are organized and have developed dense network of cooperation between galleries, while the nations that are in a sense more isolated and less capable to organize themselves are, are, are affected by the globalization uh, with a, um, let's say, a reduction of their capabilities of placing their artists.